Now, it is important that we talk about other injectable anesthetics. First is alpha-loxone. Alphaloxone is a neuroactive steroid that is approved for use as an injectable anesthetic agent for veterinary usage. After administering alphaloxone, it produces muscle relaxation within 9 seconds and unconsciousness within 30 seconds, and it can be administered with multiple doses without prolonging the duration of recovery. It can be administered to cats as a sole agent for short-term anesthesia. Second is propofol. It is an intravenous agent used for induction and maintenance of general anesthesia. It is insoluble in water and is used for general anesthesia and for sedation. These are highly lipid soluble and is available as an aqueous solution. Appears to activate GABA receptor by binding to different sites that results to the same opening of chloride channels that causes hyperpolarization. These are also highly protein bound and has a rapid onset with unconsciousness that occurs for less than 30 seconds. It can also result to a mild arterial hypotension, short periods of apnea, and central nervous system depression. It is used as an induction agent and exclusively used for small animals for economic reason. This can be administered to dogs, cats, horses, donkeys, foals, and rabbits with the required dose. Next is etomidate. It is a non-barbiturate IV anesthesia induction agent that does not possess analgesic activity. It is supplied as a 2% solution in a 35% propylene glycol and is insoluble in water and is unstable in neutral solution. It induces unconsciousness. In less than 30 seconds, an anesthesia lasts for up to 5 to 10 minutes. Its recovery is rapid and its mechanism of action enhances the effect of GABA at its receptor sites to open chloride channel. This has an effect of cardiac and peripheral vascular as well as respiratory system or respiration only slightly depressed. In the central nervous system, it reduces cerebral blood flow and metabolic oxygen requirement. Its potent hypnotic function and a wide margin of safety than thiopental, methohexital, and propan needed. It reduces cerebral metabolic oxygen requirement, decrease of heart rate with higher dose, causes minimal respiratory depression and hepatic vasoconstriction. There is no effect to renal function and has contraindications to hypoadrenocortisone. Next is chloral hydrate. It is the first central nervous system depressants to be used in veterinary surgery. An anesthetic that has been injected IV to produce surgical anesthesia in large animals, especially horses. It is a colorless and translucent crystal that volatilizes on exposure to air and has an aromatic penetrating odor. 1 gram is soluble in 0.25 ml water and in 1.2 ml of the common fat solvents. Dilute solution is used in simple stomach animals because it decreases local irritation to the gastric mucosa. Presence of food in the stomach reduces irritant effects. It has a low pain-relieving power. Chloral hydrate is best administered to horses for its hypnotic action. For general anesthesia as a narcotic supplementation by thiopenta. Chloral hydrate and magnesium sulfate. This is the combination of the 12% chloral hydrate and 6% magnesium sulfate. In solution for the IV administration in large animals. This mixture is indefinitely stable and it is known for its neuromuscular blocking action which is similar to the curariform agent for skeletal muscle relaxation. Next is Wifenicin. Wifenicin is the central acting muscle relaxant that is used IV with thiobarbiturates and ketamine for induction of anesthesia in horses, cattle, and swine. It is also known and being used for its analgesic, antipyretic, and expectorant properties. It is a white powder with a slightly bitter aromatic taste that blocks the polysynaptic reflexes and selectively depress the impulse transmission at the internuncial neuron level of the spinal cord, as well as in the brainstem and subcortical areas of the brain. Next, we have Althesin. It is also known as Safan and is used in a steroidal preparation for the induction of the anesthesia. When administered IV, it produces an immediate induction of short-term anesthesia. Also, the recovery is quick and without problems. Now, let's talk about dissociative anesthetics. What are dissociative anesthetics? These are substances causing a feeling of dissociation from surroundings that is accompanied by unconsciousness, 
catalepsy, vivid dreams, and marked analgesia when introduced to the body. This state is also referred to as cataleptic state. There are four types of dissociative anesthetics. Let's discuss them briefly one by one. First one is pencyclidine hydrochloride. This is classified as a Schedule II drug under the Controlled Substance Act of 1970. What are Schedule II drugs? According to the United States Drug Enforcement Administration, Schedule II drugs are defined as drugs with a high potential for abuse that may lead to severe physiological or physical dependence. Other examples of Schedule II drugs are cocaine, methamphetamine, and Adderall. Aside from the severe physiological and physical dependence, the use of pencyclidine hydrochloride in high dosage can also cause generalized increase in skeletal muscle tone and catalepsy. Primary pharmacologic effect of this drug is depression or stimulation of the central nervous system. It can also induce stages 1 and 2 anesthesia but not stage 3. Moreover, it is dangerous for pregnant animals because the developing brain of the neonates may be particularly susceptible to pencyclidine. The second type of dissociative anesthetics is ketamine hydrochloride. It is a unique and extremely versatile agent that can be administered by the IM or IV route without appreciable tissue irritation. It is FDA approved that can be used only in cats and should not be used specifically to animals that are intended for human consumption. This drug is more commonly used in combination with other anesthetic agents. Its mechanism of action is CNS action via its antagonistic effect at N-methyl D-aspartate or NDMA receptors. With regards to pharmacokinetics, it will rapidly cross the blood-brain barrier or the BBB to induce anesthesia. After IM injection, there will be a span of 10 to 15 minutes elapsed before sedation or anesthesia occurs. The duration of the anesthesia is dose-dependent and will last for 5 to 15 minutes after a single IV dose. Termination will occur due to redistribution, and after this, it will be rapidly distributed into all body tissues. The third type of dissociative anesthetics is the tiltamine hydrochloride, which is combined with zolacepam in a 1 is to 1 ratio for dogs and cats. The drug combination is reconstituted in a sterile distilled water, and the duration of action of this drug is 3 times longer than with ketamine. It does not produce emetic effect in cats and must not be used in pregnant animals or in those with pancreatic, renal, cardiac, or pulmonary dysfunction, and must be reduced in geriatric patients. The fourth and last type is the Zolotil 50. It is a combination of 125mg tiltamine hydrochloride and 125mg of zelazepam base and a 50 mg per ml of sterilized water for injection reconstituted. After the anesthetic effect of the drug has subsided, analgesia will persist. Catalepsy is rapid without agitation followed by muscle relaxation. 